Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. Boxing Ego, I'm with the man Kevin Newman out here training in Las Vegas, Mayweather Boxing Club. How you doing? How you been? Good, man. You know, just uh, trying to get back in the swing of things, man, and, um, you know, get some of these dates lined up, man, get fighting. When was your last fight? Um, the Mayweather McGregor, August 26th last okay, year. Okay, you were on that card? Yeah, yeah. What happened? I heard you were supposed to fight another time since then. Um, yeah, May uh, May 11th, uh, I was supposed to fight, man, and um, I had some opponent issues, man. I had about four different guys. Guys with solid records, 10-2. and two. One guy was like 4-1, four, four knockouts, 2-0, and oh, you know, and um, some of the guys didn't want to fight. The commission wouldn't approve one, so, you know, I'm still, still in the gym grinding, man. Definitely. Now, I just watched uh, some of your training. You're yeah. still looking sharp still looking fast mm -hmm. how do you maintain that type of discipline with you said you had a sparring partner that was supposed to come didn't yeah. show up yeah days getting canceled how do you stay focused during this time like times like that when i mean like you know happen. you just gotta uh stay focused on the on the bigger goal man you know because you know things like this happen in boxing um you know to at all levels you know some guys pull out with injuries at the higher level so you know it's kind of just getting used to everything just keeping my mind right and staying sharp man staying in the gym definitely now last camp i'm gonna let you get to your workout after this last mm -hmm. camp um, you were preparing for a fight, and who'd you spar with from Russia? Um, I boxed with Dmitry Bivol uh, for his fight with um, Sullivan Brera. Um, I did about uh, three or four weeks with him out there in, in, um, in LA at Legends Boxing Gym, man. And um, you know, we had some great work, man. Um, uh, you know, it was me and um, I think Latif Code. He was one of the guys he worked with, and um, Ismail Salak. You know, so oh, yeah. he had a variety of guys in, and um, you know, I just went out there and uh, pushed him, man. Now he's a decorated amateur. Yeah. He's looking like a, a top light heavyweight too. What stood out about him? Like anything that you noticed that he did good? That he, obviously from the outside looking into being in the ring with him. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, the first thing I noticed, like you know, was his 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 footwork is really good for uh, for a guy that size. You know, he's really good timing with his feet. Um, good in and out movement. You know, um, and he's very busy. He's very he's a sneaky. He's sneaky, man. You know, he's very busy, but he's sneaky. To be that size, man, he moves real good. You know, so I learned a lot from boxing, man. I actually uh. You know, we had a lot of sparring sessions throughout that camp, and you know, it was it was good work. You know, back and forth. A couple of days he had me frustrated, man. So I had to go watch some tapes of how like you know Ward do, uh, dealt with um, Kovalev and things like that because him and Kovalev have a similar style in terms of like their footwork and how to use their distance and stuff. So you know, I had to go watch some of that, and you know, some of the things worked, some of it didn't. You know, but all around it was a great learning experience for me. Definitely. How would you rate his power? That's one of the things people say um, yes, and he got to stop. Yeah, he has part. a. He has he has good he has good power. I mean, you know, I don't think necessarily he was really sitting down on every shot that he was throwing at me. Like I watched him with some of the bigger guys, you know, because I was at the time when I was boxing with him, I was still campaigning at middleweight. Okay. And now I'm moving up to 68, you know. So he wasn't really trying to, you know, trying to trying to kill with his punches, but he was he had some sting on him, man. You know, he's he's heavy-handed. But I wasn't as impressed with his power as I was with his foot movement and the timing. You know, Definitely. he has really good timing. Man. Now, when you were sparring him, I heard there was a spectator in the audience. Mm -hmm. Did you get any? Who was that spectator? Uh, Ward, yeah, Ward, and um, and I've talked to you in the past. And you said you definitely look up to Andre Ward yeah, as yeah. a as a top level fighter. Mm -hmm. Did he give you kind of any advice or any encouragement, any thoughts? Um, he didn't give me necessarily any advice. You know, I had uh, I took advice from him without him even knowing. Like I said, by going just watching, you know, some of his fights. You know, just stealing different things from that. He didn't really give me any any advice at the time. You know, he just was. You know, he was impressed with the work that I did. Good. And um, and and you know how how I handled a guy at that level. You know, a guy like Bivol. And, um, you know, he felt like I could have done, there was more things that I could have done. I had a nose injury in, in his camp, you know, so I was boxing out there with a nose injury, but I still pushed myself through it. And, you know, he was just like, you know, he, he seen some things that I could have did, did more of, you know, but all around he was, he was impressed with it. Charlo versus Golovkin, who wins? I mean, a lot of people are sold on, on Charlo, man. You know, a lot of people think that he beats Golovkin, you know, and I mean, Golovkin is older, but the dude, he's, hit, he's, he's got power, man. I mean, he's clearly got power that, that changes guys' minds. You know, and um, you know, uh, Charlo's a, a young, hungry, you know, champion, former champion, lion, whatever you want to call him. You know, he's a dog, man. And them dudes, they don't run from nobody. They're not scared of nobody. So I think it'll be a good fight. I can't really pick a winner. But, yeah, it's that type of fight. But you, but at the same time, you know, Golovkin has uh, more experience all around at the top level, fighting the top guys. You know, and Charlo's working his way up there, man. So you know, when that fight happens, it'll be a, it'll be a good fight. Definitely. Where can the fans follow you? I'm gonna let you get back to your workout. Um, at Kevin Newman underscore ii on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. All right, I'm gonna check you for your next fight. Yeah, appreciate it. Thanks, man. Yeah.